So I'm super excited about the fact that our LAN5 facility is finally open. LAN5 is a site that's going to give us a uh, tremendous amount of uplift with our customers. It gives us credibility in the uh, market space because of its efficiencies and just the way it looks. It's pretty amazing. The LAN5 data center is an awesome data center. It's really the first purpose-built campus-style data center that we've ever built. It gives us that opportunity to really start from fresh and really show what we mean by world class from day one, you know, up into the future. So there's really no excuses for this site to be phenomenal. You know, for someone like me, it's like an artist getting a blank canvas, really. Get a fresh site, brand new team, can really shape it to what we want the future of Rackspace data centers to be. There's a real wow factor when you see the site First from the outside, I mean, it's, it's dominating the whole area, the site is so large. And then when you get inside and you see how we've designed it in, inside, the common areas, the data centers, it's, uh, it has that real exciting feeling about it. In Lund 3, we were on multiple floors, so the build room to the data halls is a little bit of a trek, whereas here, you come straight out of the build room directly into the data halls. Um, it speeds up the response time. And in fact, the whole site has been designed in that way. So. You know, the loading bay feeds into the unboxing room and the unboxing room feeds into the inventory room and then the inventory room feeds into the build room and then the build room feeds into the data hall. So everything's been designed with that kind of flow in mind. So with every facility we've uh, taken online, we've seen gradual improvement within uh, the way we deploy things and the way we do things, be that process or just our discipline and our operational mechanisms. With LAN5, it's no different. Uh, we specifically focused on uh, how we change our distribution so we make it a lot more flexible for our cloud and dedicated customers. So you'll see a lot of things within the infrastructure that's very different and uh, really puts us on cutting edge with other organizations. Another focus for us has been around how we make this data center very visual to our customers. So when they come for a tour, we've got really good meeting rooms for them. Um, but then also we've got a viewing gallery that was built out that'll be amazing. Customers would love seeing what this space looks like. And uh, the data center will be the prime reason why customers probably want to sign with Rackspace. The expensive part of building a data center is all about the power. So we want to use that up. So we've built LUN5 differently. We build it with plenty of space and less power per square foot to ensure that we can use it all up. And that's about us being good stewards of the capital that we spend. The efficiency, the PUE, is about our being good stewards of the planet. And we've kept those things in mind as we've built this data center. This place is really massive. Um, in all, the uh, entire facility is approximately 12,000 square meters, and each hall is approximately 1,700 square meters. One of the big facets about the facility is uh, our focus on the green element. Um, this gives our customers a great opportunity to talk to their customers about the green side of their business because they're hosting with an organization that takes it very seriously. There's a lot of focus in terms of what uh, uh, the power distribution looks like that gives us a PUE of uh, 1.125 as a guarantee and uh, most of the time of the year it will probably be less than that. From a, a mechanical point of view we're obviously using the indirect air cooling solution um, so there's really no mechanical cooling whatsoever involved in the cooling of the data halls. It uses a closed circuit cooled by the air outside and in the warmer months we use evaporative cooling effectively to, to supplement and provide some trim on that. In order to achieve that, we've gone ahead and kind of used aerobatic coolers, which is known as indirect cooling. Uh, additionally, we used some hot oil containment in the holes. We've increased the data hole temperatures to 27 degrees. And the way it's been constructed is we actually have an open ceiling above us, which actually acts as a return plenum. In essence, what we constructed, a cold environment and a hot environment. We wanted to kind of create an outdoor environment for the build area. The reason being is that the build area is located between the data holes. In order for us to bring the outside light into the working environment, we actually went and installed the sun tubes, which actually gives you a lot of natural light. So, you know, you don't really feel that you're in an in a environment that has artificial light. I think we'll always redefine what world class is. I mean, we're going on some of the earlier evolutions of data centers within Rackspace. If I see the different data halls in LUN3, I see an evolution of standards. Uh, and we've got LUN3 to a decent place. This is taking it to the next level again. And I think we'll, we'll always be redefining that for the next site and trying to continuously improve what we do, the standards to which we do them. It feels to me like it gives Rackspace a huge amount of credibility. And I'm proud of as a racker to say that that's what we've constructed over the last, I would say, 13 or more years to get to that stage. 
It really finally feels like we're playing in the big leagues. Um, when it comes to the site itself, its design, what it looks like, and just uh, you know how proud I as a racker would be working within that facility.